Picture an ancient Earth over 440 million years ago, when life on land was just beginning to evolve and the oceans were teeming with extraordinary creatures. This was the Ordovician period, a time of dramatic biological innovation where new species began to emerge, transforming the planet in ways never before seen. In the oceans, the first coral reefs appeared, marking the beginning of the ocean's vast, colorful underwater cities. Coral colonies grew into vibrant, delicate structures, home to a variety of marine life. Alongside these coral gardens, the seas were teeming with the first starfish, crustaceans, and the primitive ancestors of modern fish. These creatures, some with exoskeletons for protection, flourished in the warm waters, scavenging, hunting, and evolving at an incredible pace. But the real shockwave came on land, where the first plants began to take root. Primitive, leafy plants were the first to cover the barren land masses, and alongside them, an unlikely predator emerged, the first carnivorous plants. These hungry plants would trap and devour small insects, creating a chilling spectacle for any unsuspecting creature that ventured too close. As the period progressed, life continued to flourish and diversify. In the oceans, sea lilies, brachiopods, and mollusks thrived, while on land, more complex plant life began to appear. By 430 million years ago, the seas were now home to sea urchins and starfish, and other creatures that navigated through lush underwater gardens of colorful lilies and sparse, delicate plants. Some of these sea creatures evolved fascinating defenses, such as spiny shells or electrical discharges, capable of stunning and immobilizing potential threats. In this evolving world, a bewildering array of sea monsters also made their appearance. Creatures like the monstrous trilobites with their massive, terrifying mouths roamed the ocean floor in search of prey. Meanwhile, strange, snake-like animals slithered through the water, possessing sharp teeth and long, flexible bodies adapted for catching fish. Some of these aquatic predators grew to enormous sizes, terrifying all other life forms sharing their watery domain. The oceans of the Ordovician were alive with dangerous predators and mysterious creatures, each playing their role in a complex, evolving ecosystem. Jawless fish were among the first vertebrates to appear, though they were far from the sleek, efficient hunters we know today. Instead, they resembled large, slimy eels, lacking the protective bony skeleton that defines modern fish. Their small, rudimentary jaws were more suited to sucking up small prey than to capturing larger, more substantial meals. Nevertheless, these early fish played a crucial role in the developing food chain, serving as both predator and prey in an ever-shifting balance of survival. Meanwhile, on land, life took its own dramatic turn. The first four-legged vertebrates, or tetrapods, emerged during the latter half of the Ordovician, marking a significant leap in evolution. These amphibious creatures possessed strong, sturdy limbs that allowed them to navigate the terrestrial world with relative ease. Their bodies, however, were still adapted for both land and water, featuring gills for breathing underwater and lungs for breathing air. This unique adaptation enabled them to lead a dual existence, spending part of their lives in water and part on land bridging the gap between two vastly different environments. These tetrapods were not merely survivors, they were pioneers, venturing into a world previously dominated by plants and early invertebrates. As they explored this new habitat, they encountered a world of challenges and opportunities. They faced the threat of terrestrial predators, the harsh environment of a land with little protection from the sun's rays and the struggle to retain moisture in a world without the life-sustaining properties of water. Yet these hardy creatures persevered, adapting and evolving, laying the foundation for the eventual conquest of land by vertebrates. The oceans, however, remained a realm of constant change and peril. Creatures like the enigmatic graptolites, Colonial marine organisms resembling a string of interconnected cups drifted gracefully through the water, forming the basis of the oceanic food chain. But this serene existence was frequently interrupted by the sudden appearance of fearsome predators. 
For instance, the jawless fish, with their menacing mouths, were perfectly adapted to consume these drifting graptolites, demonstrating the relentless pressure of natural selection in shaping life. In response to these threats, many sea creatures developed fascinating defenses. Some, like the enigmatic Animocaris, evolved a shell equipped with powerful clamps, enabling them to secure themselves to rocks, effectively turning themselves into living hermit crabs. Others, like the strange sea scorpions, grew a hard, protective armor, shielding their soft bodies from potential attackers. These adaptations were not merely evolutionary responses to external pressures. They were keys to unlocking new ways of life. The armored sea scorpions, for example, were also equipped with formidable weapons, allowing them to hunt with greater confidence. In this way, the Ordovician witnessed not only an explosion of new life, but also a diversification of lifestyles, behaviors, and adaptations. Each new creature, whether a shelled mollusk, a swift predatory fish, or a spiny sea urchin, added a new thread to the intricate tapestry of life, contributing to the richness and complexity of the biosphere. Yet this breathtaking panorama of life was not without its shadows. As the Ordovician drew to a close, a mass extinction unlike any before it swept across the globe, forever altering the course of life on Earth. The exact cause of this mass extinction remains a mystery, shrouded in the mists of time. However, scientists believe a combination of factors was likely responsible, including dramatic climate shifts, changes in sea level, and the introduction of new predators. Life, however, being as tenacious and adaptable as ever, would find a way to rebound. The survivors of the mass extinction gave rise to new species and the world began to recover. Despite the heavy toll in lost species, life persisted, demonstrating its remarkable resilience and capacity for renewal. In the aftermath of this ecological upheaval, the world was irrevocably changed. Many groups of organisms that had flourished in the Ordovician, like the strange and wonderful trilobites, were decimated, leaving behind only a legacy in the fossil record. New groups of animals, including the jawed fish, began to take a center stage, heralding a new era in the history of life. The oceans once again teemed with new creatures, showcasing the ceaseless drive of evolution to explore new possibilities and fill empty niches. The late Ordovician marked a pivotal moment in Earth's history, a time when the foundations of modern ecosystems began to be laid. The mass extinction at the end of the period, while devastating in its immediate impact, proved to be a catalyst for profound change, paving the way for new species and new adaptations. The survivors of this ecological shakeup gave rise to new life, ensuring the continuation and diversification of species. The late Ordovician, therefore, serves as a stark reminder of the fragility and tenacity of life, showcasing the planet's capacity to both endure and transform in the face of immense challenges. As we reflect on the incredible journey through the Ordovician period, several key moments stand out as milestones in the story of our planet. First, the emergence of coral reefs marked a pivotal moment. The appearance of these vibrant, intricate structures signaled the beginning of the ocean's vast underwater cities, providing homes and sustenance to countless marine creatures. The subsequent radiation of starfish, sea urchins, and other echinoderms added to the growing complexity of the marine ecosystem. These creatures played crucial roles in the food chain, shaping the balance of life on the ocean floor. The advent of the first carnivorous plants on land was another significant development. This marked a new level of sophistication in the plant kingdom, showcasing the relentless drive for survival and the adaptability of life. The rise of tetrapods, the four-legged vertebrates was nothing short of revolutionary. These amphibious creatures bridged the gap between aquatic and terrestrial life, opening the door for vertebrates to conquer the land. And finally, the mass extinction at the end of the Ordovician, while a catastrophic event, was a pivotal moment in Earth's history. It cleared the stage for new species and new adaptations fundamentally changing the trajectory of life on our planet. Each of these moments, from the flourishing of coral reefs to the dramatic mass extinction, 
contributed to the rich tapestry of life on Earth, shaping the world we know today. They remind us of the constant change and incredible dynamism of our planet as history and the astonishing resilience and adaptability of life itself. The Ordovician stands as a testament to the creative forces that have shaped our planet, a tribute to the incredible diversity of life that has graced our Earth and a reminder of the challenges and transformations that have been part of our planet as journey through time. As we continue to explore the depths of our planet's history, the lessons and insights from the Ordovician remain a guiding light, illuminating the path of life through its countless twists and turns.